Hey everybody, Pro Trader Mike, and this is a day trading video lesson made. The purpose of the video is to show a couple things on the trading side that will improve the trading. Anybody can throw a dart and 10 of them at a dart board hit 50% of the trades. Somebody with experience throwing those darts can get 70% accurate, hit 7 out of 10. And without management and other rules and effect, you're still not a loser or a winner. You're just a 70% guy hitting some, losing some, winning here, losing here. You're not really a winner. Once you get 80%, 85 90%, you really start to become an expert at the game, start winning more than you're losing. How do you get to 85 How do you get to 90% accuracy in the things that you do, whether it's throwing darts, trading, playing golf, or doing anything like that? And I'm going to show you how we do it on a couple of different fronts. The first one is the day trading side. Now, in order to get from 70% to 80%, 70% I've got a little system that I use. 80% I'm going to keep track of how many darts that I throw, how many times I hit the board, where in the board I hit. And with the trading, it's how many shares, how many trades a day what you enter the price, what you exit the price, how much you scalp, how much you make, and some notes here on the side of what was good and bad in that trade. And that'll bring you up to 80%. The 85% is the right side over here, is the notes. Keeping track and keeping notes of what you're gonna do. So that's the first big secret of gold in this, bringing yourself to 85% is keeping a journal and keeping record of all your trades and what you do and this is the day trading record every day I make a pick for the portfolio in the room and it goes right on this sheet and for the month I've done 139 trades 137 correct for 99 percent accuracy and a 26 cent scalp last month in October finished up the month with 300 trades 296 correct for 99 percent in October and when you do it for three months in a row, on now over 400 trades, now over 700 trades at 95 to 99% accuracy, there's no faking going on, no fooling going on. You've got a set system. And there is a guy by the name of Tiger Woods, one of the best golfers of all time. His sports psychologist is Dr. Geo. If you Google him, you'll find out. And his system, I base my trading, my golf, and a lot of the other things I do on. The first thing in the system is to have an outcome goal. And my outcome goal is doing this trade play that I call the Heinz trade play, playing through an even number. I do that several times a day. And that is the process of what I'm doing on a daily basis. What will happen on that process is my outcome. My outcome goal is $500,000 to a million dollars a year, doing 300 trades a month. 30% of those are Heinz trades, which is around a hundred a month, thousand a year, you make five hundred dollars off each one, thousand off each one is a half a million to a million dollars a year on those Heinz trades. And if you're accurate and you've got a system, you've got your outcome, got your process. Third thing Dr. Geo says is the self-belief. I've got self-belief in the system and it works. It's proven by myself and other people that are now doing it. And the fourth thing is patience. I'm aware of the cycle and I've got patience to sit through it. So those four things taught by Dr. Geo is applied right here to the trading and also applied to several other things. And I'm gonna show you how good the record keeping is, not just on the trading side, but how to achieve high success in other avenues of your life. Here is a quick snapshot of my Twitter page. And I did a post on Twitter earlier of my golf on Saturday. And right here, I just want to show you, I shot a 65, an all time record for my golfing. And it's right here. So this was uh, a 33 on uh, the first hole. I started on the 10th. And right here, you can see how neat it's written and the check mark. So right here, this triple check mark, follow the mouse. Three, one check mark means it was 
at an okay shot. Two, check marks. It was a good shot, but it was in the rough. Three, it was perfectly down the middle just as I liked it. A star means it was amazing. So I hit a great drive, 300 yards on the par five, had a nine iron in, which was a check, which was good. 149 on and two, two putts, one under. I know every single shot, par three, six iron, A wedge, chip to five feet, great one putt, also one under. Three wood, triple check, seven wood, 217, chipped up with the L wedge to six feet, on and made the one putt, birdie. On and par three, six iron, 180, on and one, two putt. This hole, on and the green with a nine iron from 134, and I keep track of every shot. The back, same thing, three wood star, star, star. So I'm keeping track of every shot, how far I'm hitting it to the hole, 12 feet away, on and one, two putt, seven feet away. Drive a star, A wedge 124, on and three, one putt for birdie. So this never had a five on the scorecard. That's a 65 record round. Why? Because I'm, I'm so into it. I'm just not a, a regular person just keeping track. I'm keeping such detail. Every shot is so important. Every trade, I'm not just looking to trade. It's so important. I'm keeping track of everything. That's the same similar thing that you do keeping track with your trading as you do with uh, your golf or anything else. Here's the Heinz trade play. One of the uh, people and traders that have taken Mojo University sent me their journal and this is how they did it. And I said to them, they wanted feedback of how they should keep their journal. They have a chart on BBRY, level two signal, their catalyst, the type of trade, the volume. This is all okay and good, some of it. The level two, the volume. Eh. What I like to do on the trade play in the journal is write this. What kind of trade play this? It's Heinz. We're playing it through $12. First buy is an entry at 11.92 at 9.42 a.m. Always trades big volume or we're not trading, so it's really irrelevant, that part. Entry two, 200 shares at 11.96. So I'm scaling in. I'm not buying once. Now I'm buying 700 shares in two parts, 11.89 because it dipped. Then it went back up and I bought at 11.96. 11.98, 99, part of the Heinz trade play. I doubled and tripled up the 5,000 shares. Average cost 11.97. Boom, went through 12, sold, average through 12.11, average 12.07, sell the other half 12.27, stock went to 12.64, noted in the journal. Average sell 12.17, 20 cent average on 5,000 shares, Heinz accomplished at $1,000. Do those 1,000 times for the year. That's once for the day. Two more would be done. This is an example of a profitable trade play in the journal. Here's another example of journalizing to get better, to increase the trade percentage to 95% and above. What did this trader do bad? He sent me his trade, said, Mike, what did I do bad? And I wrote this back to him, let me show you. He did number one, number two, and number three here, follow the mouse. He did one there, he did two there, he did three there. He bought 1,000 at 310 and 500 at 09 and 500 at 97 and sold it all for a loss at 78. Here's what he did wrong. Entry number one was right. He should have done 100 right there. So that's 100. Uh, entry number two should have been in the increment lower. So if he did that at 310, you're looking at 305 right here is the next increment and he buys the two. So right there, he's long 200. Done. Here, he's along 100. So now he's along 300. Entry number three, fine, really doesn't, number one and number two doesn't matter where you do it because number three is where you're gonna get the average price because it's the biggest buy. So you split that into two parts. First do a 400 and he got that, let's say at uh, 297 where he has it there and then he, it confirmed lower, didn't go back up so he could have bought another 300 under 295 at 292. Now he's fully in on a thousand shares. Done. What does the stock do? If it goes back to the original buy of a hundred, he's profitable. It continued to go down and he panicked down here on four. What he should have done here, like we did in the room at four, is do the bump. We waited for it here. Averaging here does nothing because you bought the biggest right here. It's either got to go back up or it went down. If it goes back up, you sell it one and you make money where everybody else is break even. And if it goes down, you do a bump by 4,000 shares right here. 
You long 5,000, your average is 285, 90. Stock rebounded right back up here to 90, 91 in a big surge. We bumped out and sold out. Some people made a little bit, some people uh, broke even. And that's the difference of the mechanism of scaling using some buying power and patience, the three pillars of Mojo that's taught in the room and in Mojo University to these traders. And that's how you win versus somebody that's losing on the trade. And this is an example of a negative loss that's recorded in the journal that's highlighted in red highlighted. So in your journal entries for the month, you'll look in what pages are red. This other page that I want on right here, this is in green. I highlighted the thousand dollars so I could see what I'm making money on, what I'm not making money on, thus increasing my trade percentage from 80% to 85 because I got a system. And my system is based on self-belief and expectancy, brings me up 85 to 90, record keeping, journaling, and expertise in the system brings me up to 95. Scaling, buying, power, and patience brings me up 98, 99 win percentage. So I've been doing this for two years in a row, 95% and above. Don't have to join any other services that show proof in the pudding. You can't fake. 300 trades in a month after month after month. You can't fake a 65 on the scorecard keeping track like that. So it's all real deal. Those systems in place, you can get lessons in place, whether it's off the trading field or on the trading field to bring you up to 90% and more trade accuracy. And that's how ProTrader Mike does it. And I hope this video lesson helped you all and keep it profitable. That's all I got to say. Pro Trader Mike signing off.